In this video, we're going to be paying a visit to an old topic. What are the best places for freelancers to use in 2021 to get paid and make money? What sites and methods do I use personally? Hey, it's Eli IK Atlas. Welcome to the For Future Reference Vlog, Season 4. So why am I overdressed? Because we're going to talk about making money. <laughs> Jokes aside, if you've been watching my channel for any time over six months, you might remember uh, I did a video on sites to make money online. I gave a list of the best places in my experience that freelancers can go to really maximize their profits and hopefully carve out a living for themselves online. This particular video is going to be the direct sequel or a direct sequel to that, not quite a masterpiece of filmmaking. And if that sounds like the kind of thing you're into, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video, drop a comment down below, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel. I post a new video every Monday and Friday, and I'll have plenty more videos like this coming your way. So what's changed since then? Have I added any new sites to the list? What are the pros and cons, and how do I use them in this new day and age? Let's find out. These days, a great majority of my clientele come directly through email, not only because I have a lot of repeat clients, and I've done videos on client retention in the past, I'll link to that in the cards. But primarily because people probably contact me through my email, which I list on all my sites I frequent for this very reason. The benefits of using email direct is that no time is wasted. All the information can be sent and received directly, and you guys can work out the details from start to finish with no interruption. The Bird app has been a useful site primarily through referrals and word of mouth, since sharing other people's things is primarily the function of the website. It makes a lot of sense. A variety of ways you can get work is from getting tagged by friends of past clients on posts regarding work, getting messaged directly from prospects, and also submitting your very brief portfolio with your most concise pitch to people looking to hire. A tricky place to navigate to this day. Reddit can be your strongest tool as it's viewed 150 million times per day. And the subs that I personally have found to bring in the most amount of value, hungry artists and comic book collaborations, both have 98,000 and 14,000 readers, respectively. Enough said. Upwork seems to be a controversial place for freelancers and gig workers for a variety of their policies and business practices, or more precisely, the business practices of the people who use the site. But look, you're gonna be okay. Whatever you do, communication is key. Same rules apply here. I have a, had a few successful forays into Upwork, and there's no shortage of clientele looking for the skills that you have. Just make sure you and your prospects talk each other through the process from start to finish. And everything should be okay. A good old fashioned PHP BB style message board, meaning it's like the ones you grew up with circa the year 2000. Zwall.org still has a very active user base who are looking to make comics, whether that's in production or hiring. 2016 was the year I joined, if I recall, and I had a wildly successfully timed there. Wildly successful? <laughs> my thread showcasing my work is still one of the highest viewed threads on the artist section of the website. And it's super easy to create your thread, put up your images, and make connections. So I highly recommend it. Honorary mention goes to ArtStation. I always figure this is a site for the video game developers looking for new talent. And I personally haven't pushed into this site that much, but I do have a profile there and I've definitely seen it work for a great many artists in helping them get discovered and placed with some big companies and great opportunities. So definitely a good place to shut up shop. That about wraps it up for this week's video. If you guys like this video, make sure you comment, like, subscribe and share. Leave your comments down below and get your thoughts on this topic. What are some sites that you use in 2021 to make a living as a freelancer, as a gig worker, whatever you want to call it, as an illustrator? Leave your thoughts down below, sites that you frequent, and ways that you use those sites to uh, further your career and your business. All right, so uh, once again, make sure you guys leave your comments down below and a new video just like this one, probably without the suit, is gonna be available next Friday <laughs> and another video on Monday as well. That's gonna be a tutorial, a speed drawing, whatever's on my desk, I always share it with you guys. So once again, Follow me on the social media sites that you are a part of. I'm also Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, DeviantArt, the entire thing. Make sure you guys check out more videos similar to this one up in the cards. They will be linked as always. Make sure you guys check out the links in the description below as well. And um, yeah, 
let's get a discussion going on this topic. Let's build a little bit of a uh, discussion around it. See what you guys think about websites to frequent for artists and freelancers to get paid. Um, I know that's a very, very um, important topic. Hopefully this was useful in getting your money up because since 2019, 2020, the world kind of ended and it's very important to make sure your funds keep coming. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. I shall see you in the next video later.